Yo, so today, what are we doing today? Today, we're leaving Batu Pahat. I'm about to go to back to KL. Got the date, the 15th, which is next week, which is a Saturday. And so now Ali is just going to give all the gifts for the trays. She's going to give that. <clears throat> then before we can actually jump on the motorway back to KL, we've got to go... Uh, somewhere else to sort out all the decorations for the platform seat uh, I can't remember what it's called I know she's told me but I just need to remember myself so that's what we're looking to do so it's looking to be uh, pretty much a calm day yeah a calm day so now we're in the place That blue is nice. Can you tell us where we are. Um, we are at the bridal shop. So they offer lots of services. But the one I want from them is um, in Malaysia we call it Palamin. And then some, yeah, this has makeup as well. And hand bouquet. Okay. <laughs> uh, she doesn't have chocolate. Or oh, you want this one instead? This time. Ada kerusi ni lagi tak? Ada. Okay. Jangan tengok-tengok tengok je. Eh. Like this okay? No, yeah, that one's nice. Okay. Betul. Hmm. Betul. Oh, lagi betul. <laughs> Um, How I met Alia, I met Alia through my my mother, my Ibu. Um, my my mum kept seeing Alia at a train station outside, just outside of London. My mum saw her for eight months. Kept seeing her, kept seeing her, and then my mum was like, oh, she should be a student, must be a student, not here for work. So my mum decided to actually ask her, oh, Chako Bas Malayu. And then Alia thought that my mum was Chinese, because she does look Chinese. And then from there, they started talking, um, exchanging places to eat. And my mum wanted to go to a place called Wing Yip, which is a Asian su uh, supermarket. And so Alia asked if she could come. My mum said, oh, I'm gonna have to ask my son. I didn't think anything of it because I thought, oh, mom's friend, okay, whatever. So the first time I met her was at Victoria Station in London.
Yeah, and that's the project that we need to do. Oh, so Alia needed to do a video for her uni as an alumni. And so my mum knows that I, I film and edit stuff myself. So my mum asked me if I could help Alia. I said, yeah, no problem, I can help Alia. And then, uh, lepas tu, uh, balik rumah. Lepas dah habis record semua video tu, balik rumah dia. And then, uh, the mum, no, he cepat-cepat lah uh, edit the video. And then, malam tu juga dia hantar pada I. So, I, I pun hantar pada... Uh, my lecturer lah, who requested the video, yeah. Honestly, in the beginning, I didn't think anything of it. <laughs> I just thought it was another another woman, hi, bye, I thought that was it. I accept the hands in marriage of Noor Alia binti Muhammad Saad with the dowry of 500 ringgit in cash. <laughs> and now we're married. And now we're married. Yeah. Now we're married. Um, very simple, uh, just easy as it should be. Getting married should just be easy, and obviously, if you are, if you love each other, you'll do it. And uh, I don't know what to say, yeah. That's it. <laughs> and I love you, of course, yeah. And I love you. There you go. <laughs> I love you <laughs> what qualities did Alia have that attract that attracted me to her? Um, it wasn't until I started to spend more time with her that I realized. When did we spend time? <laughs> whenever we used to go eat. Whenever no, we, we used to go yeah, eat. Yeah, we go eat and also like we on the phone as well. Yeah. So every time I see her when we go out to eat, I just like the qualities that she had: kind-hearted, always smiling, always happy, um, religious as well, which is a major factor. Um, <laughs> And just easy going. She likes having likes having a good time. Um, easy, light, relaxed, and not stressful. I'm not saying that women are stressful. <laughs> what I'm saying is that you can find people that are stressful, men and women. So it's nice to find someone that isn't stressful, is easy, relaxing, and understands that life is about just have taking it easy. I like the fact that he is <laughs> uh, he's a nice person. Um, I noticed that he's very um, easy going. As in uh, regardless of orang tu tua ke muda ke budak kecil ke dia boleh mas dia boleh macam have conversation lah. Maksudnya orang rasa senang uh, and he doesn't really he doesn't mind uh, helping other people as well. He's very helpful. Uh, and the fact that he stays with his mom and help her out. So uh, I like that. And also I like that he has um, efforts to do stuff. Like, macam, contoh kalau he doesn't know something. That we, um, and I say like, oh, maybe we should like, you know, learn about this or like uh, pursue this. And then uh, dia akan buat effort lah. Maksudnya, uh, he's, so like, like now he's here from the UK. Um, time COVID yang tak boleh datang and then but he just like uh, support me as well lah. Yeah, it was 2019. Um, it was my birthday. And then um, I was asking him, I think I asked you, as in, 
So where do we go from here? Because in 2020, I will be going back to Malaysia. So like, uh, apa future hubungan kita ni kan? Macam apa kita nak buat apa ni? Macam apa nak, ah, macam kan? nak terus ke? Ada. Nak stop ke? Tapi, <laughs> so and then one hmm. day macam lepas dah, I think he talk about it lah. And then we discuss that. And he said that, uh, okay lah, dia nak proceed. As in, dia sanggup untuk stay lah sebab masa bila I balik Malaysia, I kena serve my bond for four years. And then after some consideration, he decided to, he, yang dia kata, okey lah, boleh. Uh, he sacrifice okay lah. <laughs> sacrifice yang dia boleh datang sini lah. Dia tak ada passport Malaysia, so kena apply. Uh, my travel pass ni. So banyak kali apply macam dah dua first tak lepas, second tak lepas, third tak lepas. Uh, is it the fourth time? Yes. Oh, so lepas kali keempat pun tak lepas, hantar lagi sekali. Yes. I think both of us are very frustrated. We're uh, very frustrated, yeah. Um, but I, I think showed he, it more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but she, he always say it's okay, we can just still do it. So uh. macam okay lah. Macam, it, it was really hard untuk um, long distance relationship ni macam Susah lah. Tapi, we made it true. Yeah. And then, um... Got my flight date. Um, <clears throat> I I got my flight date, but I needed to take, in the UK, you need to take a um, fit to fly test, PCR test, to make sure that you're all negative and you're fit to fly. Um, unfortunately, I got the wrong one because it needed to be a 24 hour uh, up a 24 hour before test your... before my flight. Um, it wasn't 24 hours, it went over the, the time, so that meant that I couldn't fly because I didn't have the results. So, I luckily, Alhamdulillah, I had a friend who works in Gatwick Airport. I called him and asked if he was able to help me with just anything at all with rescheduling, and um, he knows the people that were there. And so he managed to talk to them via uh, Facebook Messenger, um, video call. He told me to talk to this person, that person. They sorted out, they understood the situation. And so I was able to reschedule my flight uh, from the 22nd to the 24th so just of December. So I was able to do that. Um, so obviously, um, people already said goodbye to you. They felt, was that, when they saw me at home, like, oh, you're still here? So yeah, yeah. Long story, long story, but I'm going on the 24th. And so the 24th came. Uh, in my, yeah, my, the 24th came. I had everything all ready, all documents ready, bags all ready. My family came and said goodbye. Um, and so boarded the flight, flight from Gatwick to Istanbul, Istanbul to Malaysia. Alhamdulillah. So, so no I more eight hours apart. Pergi British Consulate, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. pergi uh, Jawatan Immigration, hmm. pergi uh, Kementerian Luar Negeri, eh? uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, lepas tu, what else? Yeah, tiga tempat. I mean, that's it, only three, only three. And then besoknya tu balik Batu Pahat, pergi pejabat kaji Batu Pahat pula. Uh, <laughs> and then we got the date on, it was on a, a enam hari bulan, enam hari bulan satu, dapat date. Ah? Sebenarnya bukan dia tanya no. kita orang macam bila ya yeah, it was 6 6 of January. No no no. Alia had ideas of sabar. what day. Ya lah ya lah ya lah sabar sabar. Okay. It's actually for your own good too. Okay. okay. <laughs> friends and family are uh, just thank you thank you very much for just being supportive of me uh, making sure that you helped as much as you can and that you never allowed me to lose focus even though I wouldn't lose focus but still having that backup and that support is very very um, appre uh, yeah, appreciative and I absolutely appreciate all of it um, 
it wouldn't be as easy as it is or was without your help. Uh, to my parents, Mama and Abba, thank you so much um, for everything, for your effort, for your patience, for the love you gave, for the support, um, for accepting um, Krim just the way he is. Um, and thank you to my family. Um, Semula, I don't know why you're To my family, uh, especially my siblings, uh, Arif, Nina, Ya Allah, <laughs> And then um, to Adi, to, um, to Shah, uh, Umi for the hantaran, and also to Alvi and uh, Nurika, walaupun dia datang last minute, tapi dia orang macam still macam up for it. Okay, get going. Thank you so much. Um, Manga, the, the room looks lovely. Um, and this bouquet as well. Oh, yeah. uh, thank you, Kak Zahida. Um, thank you, Kak Mona, for the banana muffins. Um, thank you, everyone, for coming. Uh, for well, I'm sorry for not being able to entertain all of you, but I'm sure one day we will come yeah, and inshallah. visit. Uh, inshallah. To Ali's parents, uh, thank you very much for seeing past uh, my, my parents and seeing my, my Iman. My intentions as well, so I say a big thank you because yeah, that, that was a major factor I was I was uh, apprehensive of. But yeah, Alhamdulillah, yes. we're here now. <laughs>